Good evening. Welcome to the night radio and television station. He is the new today. At the recent government Garland Press conference in March, the state bank said that a credit package of 120 billion Vietnam dong is coming soon with a lower interest rate for both buyer and home buyer from 1.5 to 2 percent compared to average lending interest rate of bank in the market in the eight period. Currently, four state-owned banks have agreed to be ready to step in with a credit packet of 120 trillion Vietnam dong for the construction of social housing and worker housing projects. The credit packet may be more in the future if more banks are involved. And during the implementation process, if there is a shortage of liquidity, the SBV is ready to refinance. For further implementation, according to the Ministry of Construction, the Ministry of Construction currently has a draft resolution to submit to the Prime Minister on the suspension of the credit packet of 110,000 billion Vietnam dong, which is the packet that the Ministry of Construction proposed to deploy, similar to the previous 30 trillion packet. Instead, the Ministry will prioritize the implementation of the 120,000 billion Vietnam dong packet, but both by the State Bank first. According to the Vietnam National Administration of Tourism, the number of international tourists to Vietnam in February reached over 930,000. Generally, in the first two months of this year, Vietnam welcomed 1.8 million international visitors and served 20 million domestic tourists. Total revenue from tourists is estimated at 85,600 billion Vietnam dong. The largest international visitor market include Korea, the U.S., China, Cambodia, Thailand, Japan, Malaysia, and Australia. The number of domestic tourists in February is estimated at 7 million, of which about 4.6 million guests stay. Information from the management board of the Home Temple Real Estate Futa province on the occasion of the Hum Kin anniversary Hum Temple Festival this year take place from April 20 to 29, 1 to 10 of the third lunar month, with 21 large scale and unique cultural event and activity. The ceremony will still be traditional activity, including the commemoration of the father Lat Long Wung and offering incense in memory of Mother Oka on April 25th, commemorating the death anniversary of Kum Kin and offering flower at the bus relay. Uncle Ho talked to officer and soldier of the Bionic Army on April 29th and the incense offer ceremony in memory of the Hung Kin of the district, city and town, full top province, locality, organization and community from April 20 to 29. Along with that, the festival will gather more than 20 activity and event the highlight in the UNESCO Register in Tangible Cultural Heritage Week on April 21st at Hong Vung Square and the National Conference, Vietnam Tourism, Cultural Heritage, a sustainable development forum. There are also exciting activities, such as sport competitions, the Northwest Tourism Fair, the Festival of Culture and Cuisine of Ancestral Land. Officials at home and abroad together with Venezuelan on March 5th gathered in the capital Caracas to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the death of the late President Hugo Chavez. Officials and a large number of Venezuelans attended a prayer service at the Mausoleo del Comandante Hugo Chavez Museum. Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega and Bolivian President Luis Arce and former Cuban President Raul Castro attended the event. The late President Hugo Chávez came to power in 1999. During his time in power, he was considered an influential leader and had remarried in established solidarity among like-minded countries like Cuba, Bolivia, Ecuador, and Nicaragua. 
c h e r i n k i n a b u l a c h u told U.S. Defense Secretary l a w Austin on Thursday that rising violence in the West Bank threatens stability in the region and asks for help to combat the growing dirt war along the border with Syria. Mr. Altin arrived in Jordan yesterday to begin a tour of the Middle East that will also take him to Israel and Egypt. After arriving in Jordan, Mr. Altin held talk with King Abdullah II. The Jordanian b a l l e t statement said the king has told Mr. Altin that it is necessary to come down and d e e s c a l e in the Palestinian territories and prevent any unilateral step that undermines stability and destroy the chain to achieve peace. After a short day, Mr. Austin will visit Israel. Before his visit, he said he would express concern to the country official about the rise in violence in the West Bank and discuss diplomatic effort to reduce tension ahead of religious holiday of Muslim and Jew. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.